Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimat Serious. And as you already know, Dimat Serious is all about helping students who are preparing for the exams on the use of English and on literature. So they were going to learn how to understand jump comprehension passage, how to answer questions on jump comprehension passage, and then we to introduce you to a very good app that you should use while preparing for this year's jump. This is the app that some of my students who are now in different universities use to write writing jump last year. The name of the app is Class 54. Class 54. Make sure you download the app and use it to prepare for this season. One special thing about this app, aside from making you conversant with the CBT platform, is that it does not only give you the answers to the past questions, it also gives you the explanations to each question. So if you're using the app to solve past questions, you're also going to see the explanation to the ones you failed. So you're going to see the why you failed, the ones you failed, and the correct answers. So this app is so special and I'm so excited about it. Some of you have been telling me to upload videos on other subjects like chemistry. Someone asked me to upload videos on chemistry. Another person asked me to upload videos on economics. I cannot upload videos on those subjects because they are not my specialties. Please make sure you download this app because I want to that is on this channel to pass this year's jam. I don't want you to repeat it, yes. I don't want you to become a jam customer. I want you to pass this exam. So I'm introducing you to this app. Make sure you go and download it. And the thing is that you just want to there. You have access to over 20 years past questions, answers, and explanations. And if you don't want to read the jam recommended novel, if at the time that doesn't like reading novels, you can just listen and have it read to you. Isn't that amazing? I want everyone to have this app. Please, I want everyone to have this app. Please get the app. You just want thousand dollars subscription. You have 20 years, 20 good years, past questions, answers, explanations. Now, how much is a copy of past questions and answers? This regular past questions and answers. How much is it in the bookstores? How much is it? How much is it in the bookstores? You can't get this. I mean, for one subject, you can't get it for less than a thousand naira. But with this app, you have all the subjects you want. 20 years past questions, answers, explanations, and you get to listen to Life Changer without stressing yourself reading the novel. Ah, isn't that amazing? So please get the app. I'm just so excited about it. Please go and get it, okay? Please go and get it. Please, everyone on this channel should get it. Okay, I'm sorry for taking your time to explain this app to you. I'm so excited about it. Now let's get straight into the lesson. So once you've logged into the platform, you click on use of English and you're about to answer questions on the comprehension passage. The first thing you should do is to read the first paragraph of the passage. Yes, read the first paragraph of the passage. To introduce you to the, the central theme of the passage, the characters in the passage, in the case of, of narrative essay, that is a passage that tells a story, okay? So it introduces to the character, the setting, the theme of the passage. And then a lot of teachers will tell you to read the questions before reading the passage. But that makes us never worked for me as a student. So I don't advise anyone to use that method. The method I'm sharing with you is the method that worked for me. And I believe it also worked for you because I have seen the advantages. Now, what about, now about reading the questions first? It will hinder your ability to concentrate on the passage. Because after you've read the question before reading the passage, it will make your mind to scout for answers in every paragraph or in every line of the essay. And this will hinder your ability to concentrate and understand the passage. And you know one thing about jump comprehension passage? You have to understand the full story before you can answer questions on it. So it's important for you to read the first paragraph first before reading the questions. One good thing about reading the first paragraph before reading the questions is that once you've read the first paragraph, you find yourself getting hooked to the essay. You want to find out more. But once you're done with the first paragraph, that's where you should stop. Then you go to the questions, read the questions. After you've read the questions, go back to the passage. Read from the beginning to the end now before answering the questions. The questions on jump comprehension passages are usually influential. That is, you are expected to figure out the answers based on the information that is in the passage. Please make sure your answers are based on the information in the passage. Do not bring your knowledge about the topic or about the subject that has been discussed in the passage into answering your questions. Whatever it is that you are going to select as the answer to the question should be based on the information that is found in the passage. 
whether you feel is wrong or right. So this is the sequence for asking questions on the comprehension passage. Read the first paragraph, read the questions, read the entire passage, and now answer the questions. This is the sequence for understanding the comprehension passage and answer questions on it. Now let's take an example from 2017 past questions. Now let's see the first paragraph of John 2017 comprehension passage, passage one. Luba removed a small black amulet from his neck and succeeded a bigger one. The former was for general protection at home, the letter for protection and love while traveling. Ready at last, he picked up his mansion and headed for Chief's house with Ikechi behind him. At this point, you may want to keep reading to find out why Olumba is going to the chief's house wearing an omelet. So the first paragraph gets you hooked. And in the questions, we see questions based on what you want to find out in the passage. So that's why it's important for you to read the first paragraph before reading the questions, then the entire passage. Let's take another example from the same passage. The passage is actually about a chief of a village who called a meeting of the villagers to get volunteers to guard their pond called the pond of Wagaba against Alikoro people, whom the suspect would attempt to steal fish from the pond. The plan is to catch them and demand for ransom to prove their charges against the people of Alikoro of stealing their fish and to also serve as a deterrent to them. Now you have question one. The chief calls the meeting because you have option A, he wanted volunteers to go to Alikoro B, he wanted to ask for a very huge ransom because the people of Chiolu needed money for fishing. C, he wanted to announce the fact that there would definitely be poachers from Chiolu at the Great Pond that night. D, the elders had devised a plan to prevent the poaching. The word poaching as just in passage means stealing. Now we've seen the options. Which one is the correct answer? Option A, he wanted to ask for a very large ransom because the people of Chiolu, that is the name of the village, needed money for fishing. Is that the correct answer? No, of course, it's not the correct answer. Yes, they wanted to ask for a ransom, but it wasn't because the villagers needed money for fishing. It was because they wanted it to serve as a deterrent to the people of Alikoro and also prove their charges against the people of Alikoro that they've been stealing their fish. So it's not the correct answer because the reason, as mentioned in this option, is not the reason why the people of Cholo intends to ask for a ransom. It's not the correct answer. Now, option B, wanted volunteers to go to Ali Aliakoro. Wanted volunteers to go to Aliakoro. Is that the correct answer? Of course not. It's not the correct answer. They wanted volunteers not to go to Aliakoro, but to guard the pond, the pond of Wakaba. He wanted volunteers, yes, but he didn't want volunteers to go to Alikoro, but to guard the pond of Wagaba, okay? So this is not the correct answer. And I shall see, we have, he wanted to announce the fact that there would definitely be poachers from Chiolo at the Great Pond that night. Is that the reason he called for the villagers? No, he not called for the villagers just to announce to them that there will be poachers that is people coming to steal from the pond, from the Wagaba, Great Wagaba Pond. That's not the reason why he called it. It's not just to announce the fact. You see, all of these options, they first look correct. This is the reason you shouldn't select your answer hastily. You have to digest every answer you want to select. So do not be in a haste to select your answer because all of them look correct at the first glance. But when you look at them closely, you find out that they are wrong. Now, option D, we have... The elders had devised a plan to prevent poaching. This is the correct answer. The reason he called for the meeting is because the elders had devised a plan to prevent poaching. If you read the passage carefully, you find out that the passage did not even mention that elders sat down and devised a plan. But the chief called the villagers and reads out plans that have been meant by the elders. That's all I say. Jump comprehension questions are... In French, they require you to use logic while answering them. It takes your mental ability. It requires you to make use of your brain. Okay? So, option D is the correct answer. The reason the chief called the meeting was because the elders had devised a plan to prevent poaching. What's the plan they have devised to prevent poaching? 
to guard the pond, catch the poachers, and demand for ransom to serve as a deterrent and to also prove their charges against the people of Aliko that they've been stealing their fish. So that is it. Another thing, please practice a lot of comprehension passage passages. Practice a lot of it. It will help you to get used to it. Practice with class 54. To also help you get the explanation to the ones you may fail. I hope you know you can download class 54 on your phone and practice anywhere at any time. Very convenient, right? So download it and use it and prepare well for this exam. Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video. Bye-bye. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to share. And do not forget to um, click on the like button. Bye-bye.